Yep, this is a weird night for night. Weird night? It's not even night time, it's nearly 3.30. Swabians. Today has just been another very day here and just been bored in the house and out of my tits. It's like ugh. I have nothing to do and after a while it makes your brain just feel kind of weird where it's like you need to get out of the house. So here I am out of the house again which is kind of fun because there's nothing really much in the area to explore and such. God, it's like... Think of it like back in Neath for me. It's the same like that. Although, Unnighter is a tiny bit smaller. Uh, less shops. One or two good ones. And... I mean, fair enough, you know, the uh, amount of people who uh, would lay around in Neath, you know, off their heads doing drugs, is a little bit more discreet here in Oneida. I mean, I'm not going to bloody lie and say that there is some sort of uh, drug usage going around in Oneida and such. You know? So, but, uh, I don't know just nothing much to do so I thought I'd get out and see what we got in town I may stop over again on GameStop check one or two things out maybe no I'm not gonna pick up a shirt because I had those cool NES cartridges which has a shirt on the inside and you can mount those cartridges on the wall and they look so good but at the same time it's eh, nothing much I can do there uh, I had food earlier, so I just ordered a Domino's and some chicken. See? Fun life. This is you getting to know me and what I do on a daily basis. <laughs> Yay! That's us week done! Getting to know me! <laughs> yep. That's, uh... Hmm. Getting to know me sort of segment. But there's nothing much to do these days. That's the only problem that I have because... Again, I talked about this before is that we rarely go out these days. As you saw, the only time that we actually went out together and had fun was the Sterling Renaissance Festival, and that was awesome. That was fun. It's just nowadays, it's... We either got a massive-ass schedule of... We're working. All right, Chris has got two jobs in which he works at, and for me, I... Got a weird-ass schedule, so that makes it more fun. And soon, I will have my scooter delivered. Because yes, I ordered my scooter. So I'm gonna have that delivered in the next couple of days. So it's gonna make getting to and from work a little bit more easier on my feet. Because right now, my feet are burning. And that fucking sucks. Uh, well, I was speaking to one person in which I can discuss that most probably if we sort out after immigration is we're looking to find a new apartment and to basically get the hell out of the apartment that we're living in right now. It would be nice, it would be fantastic. Uh, right now, one of the people that we're talking to, they are trying to sort out with the city, with a place that they're trying to rent out so they can get that approved. Uh, we asked them as well how much rent would be, security deposit, and is there a credit check and everything, in which they have stated, we can negotiate on both security and the rent that is suitable for you guys. It will include everything. Credit check? No, because I've known you guys for a while now and you guys are amazing and I trust you guys and you know full well where you're coming from with the landlord you have right now. I'm more than happy to take you guys in. I'm like, nice. It's awesome. So that's going to be later on. Once we find out exactly what's going on, they're going to give us a text to say, hey, want to check? See what the apartment's like? So we've got that going on and it's just eh. I mean right now I want to look into redoing the apartment slightly because it needs a, a sprucer 
Because seeing that apartment every day, when it's warm, it's like uh, a bit of a pain. But we're going to see what we can do there. So, kind of one of the reasons I'm going into town today. I'm checking the big lot. I'm going to see what they have there with uh, new beddings and such. Have more fun there. And go from there. I still talk to my family back in Wales. Uh, theoretically, I got one friend which I'm talking to once in a while these days because, well, communications with my old friends now is kind of. Yeah. So that's okay there. Uh, my mum, she sends her loves once in a while now, although next month. Oh, she's going back into hospital because she has to go and get her knee sorted again. So, yay! And I realised the other day while I was in work, I had a laugh. My back started playing up a lot. And my right knee started to give out and feel absolutely terrible. So I think I may have been given the gift of my parents' hereditary with my dad's back pains and my mum's bun knee. So, uh, I think they try to tell me something there that I am a Hughes. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, nice little walk, I feel so nice today. With the motorcycles as well. <laughs> yeah, honestly, that turn back now doormat, I think that should be the official door mat for well, the apartment building we live in. Just saying. All right, so shopping done. Didn't have anything in big lots, so I thought, screw it. Go to the Dollar Street, pick up one or two things there, and go to GameStop, because I thought, eh, pick up something for myself, just to calm myself. Try and get out of this mental blah. But, uh, now heading home. It's starting to show a bit of a thunderstorm coming in. Lovely. Halloween yet, but this is the only time I will approve of Halloween. I don't care. It's funny. Ha ha, I like it. Sorry, hey guys, so after a very quiet night, having a few drinks of wine, and watching some Star Trek, and now I'm gonna reinflate the bed. It's coming to a point now where I am now really in the mood now to think, fuck it, next pay for me and Chris, we're getting a fucking bed. We need to get this bed sorted. Because I don't know if, not only if it's just because I'm walking a lot, but I don't know if the bed is maybe, well, this inflated, but after a while with all the deflating and stuff, it's just making my back feel a little bit achy and such, but we'll have to find out. But anyway guys, thank you for watching today's video, hopefully you've enjoyed, and if you have as always, don't forget to hit that like button. But I shall see you guys tomorrow for a brand spank new day, and hopefully it shall be better than the rest, even though I'm working 11 till 4 tomorrow. Yeah. So until then, take it easy guys, and I'll stop.